I got a baby gecko in February and I was so worried that I wouldn't be able to figure out how to handle him. I've had experience with baby geckos before but I never had full responsibility over one and I got really nervous that I would do something wrong and hurt him. Once I realized I knew what to do but just didn't know when to apply the things I had learned, I gained confidence and was able to hand tame my gecko within a week. So I thought I would help you if you're nervous or never even held a lizard and start with the basics of how to pick up a baby leopard gecko. Holding a baby gecko is a lot harder than handling an adult because they don't have as much taming experience and they naturally assume that you're a predator trying to hurt them. You may have to deal with screaming, running away, and possible biting if they think you're food. The biting doesn't hurt by the way, you can barely feel it especially since it's a baby. Yes, I know my gecko is technically a juvenile, but he's still a good demonstration for this. But anyways, as you can probably tell by the title and this whole intro thing, today I will be showing you guys how to hand tame or even just handle a baby leopard gecko for the first time. Let's get started. Okay, so I have my baby leopard gecko here. His name is Mushu. If you want to know more about Mushu, I've made a couple videos about him. I'll link them in the iCard if you want. Anyways, this is after you've introduced them to your hand by putting your hand in their tank and letting them get used to the smell and look of your hands in case you didn't know. You don't want to handle them right as soon as you get them because they're probably all freaked out because they're like being shipped and like in a truck and whatever. For me, the first time I handled Mushu was about three or four days after I got him. But yeah, you want to pick a time that they are, first of all, awake, which would be, for most geckos, anytime after 6 p.m. Second of all, a time when they're not scared or hiding so that it decreases the chance of them being scared of you. Once you know that it's a good time to handle your gecko, you're going to make sure that you wash your hands really well just to make sure that you don't like, pass anything onto them. They don't really catch viruses and stuff like that, but just to be safe if you like have another gecko and things like that. Uh, anyways, you're going to slowly put preferably both, but if you can't, then just one hand is fine, but you're going to put your hands in their tank slowly and gently and just sit there for a bit. Now this is gonna take a bit of patience, but you don't wanna rush them into it if they're unsure, so you just wait here for a few minutes until they calm down. Some people have naturally calm geckos, so they don't have to wait as long, but just to be safe, I'd recommend for waiting two to five minutes, and once you wait for that amount of time, if they seem calm, what I do is I subtly move my hands closer to them, but like barely, to the point that they don't even really notice. They can have a few reactions to this. They may A, do nothing, which Mushu is doing because he's used to this, B, get nervous and run over to their hide, in which case, don't do anything about it for now, don't try to like get them out, that might scare them. C, start screaming at you or slowly wagging their tail, which is if they're really skeptical about you, it's a warning sign, so I back up a little bit just to be sure that they don't like drop their tail. D, walk right up to you and not be nervous at all. If they seem curious and walk up to you, that's amazing. If they do that, don't change anything you're doing. They might even decide they want to walk right onto your hand, so just let them do that if they want to. You may not even need to do anything after this, just let them explore your hand as they want to. But once they're fully calm and not really caring about what you're doing, which, as I said before, may take some patience, but when they're just sitting there, not screaming or whatever, you can slowly inch your hand or hands closer to them to the point where it's directly in front of their face. And if they seem okay with it, you're gonna very gently, but confidently scoop them up from either the front or the side. Either is fine, but just so that they can see what you're doing better, I would recommend going from the front. And this is where your other hand comes in. You can't squeeze them because, I mean, that's terrifying for a lizard, they'd hate that. So, you can just put your other hand in front so that they can't jump off, and you can just sit here, like if it's the first few times that they're being held. But, since I've had him for about three months, I can just take him right out and hold him here. So the key for getting them comfortable with you is confidence. I know that you're very likely to be nervous when you're holding a lizard for the first time, because at least for me, the thoughts going through my head were like, what if I hurt him, what if something goes wrong and he drops his tail? But even if you are super nervous, you should try not to show that because they can sort of sense that. And if you're nervous, they're thinking, why is this person nervous? Maybe I should be nervous. And they might not want to be touched when they're kind of scared. 
For the first time you're handling them, hold them maximum for like five minutes. Longer than that, they won't really like. By the way, if they are a little bit unsure, you can take a little treat like a wax worm or something like that and feed it to them while they're on your hand or after you put them back down so that they know that you won't hurt them when you pick them up. Another tip I have for handling them is to make sure that it's a good handling experience every time. Like that you don't rush them into being picked up and they will tame pretty quickly if you do that. After a couple months or maybe even sooner, you can just pick them up without waiting in their tank like I can with Mushu. I think a good rule for handling a baby gecko is every month or so, you can add 2 minutes to the amount of time you handle them until you get to 20 minutes. You don't have to like time it or anything, but I think around that amount of time is good. Another thing that can help with taming is to hand feed them or feed them in a way that involves you. So when you're trying to tame a gecko, you don't want to just drop a bunch of bugs in their tank and wait for them to catch them. You can hand feed them or cup feed them. Cup feeding is where you take a clear cup and put it in their tank sideways while you're still holding the cup so that they can see your hand and connect your hands or handlings with things that they like. And their favorite thing basically ever is food, so you always want to connect handling with food. When you're done handling your lizard, you can just put them right back, just put your hand in the tank and they should walk right off and then either go back and hide or just sit out. Mushu is like fine with it and he's not really scared of handling anymore so he just sits here. Uh, but yeah. If you want more taming tips and bonding tips, I made a video like that and you can check it out and the iCard should be right up there. And in that video, I talk about ways you can bond with your leopard gecko, but a lot more detailed. Right now I'm just briefly explaining a few things, but if you want more information about taming, you should totally check that video out. I don't really have much else to say about handling a baby gecko. I wish you the best of luck in taming your lizard, and let me know if this video is helpful in the comments. If you have any questions at all, I'm willing to answer them, but otherwise, have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!